Good morning students, welcome back to 9th science, unit 11, atomic structure. I hope that you remember our previous class, what we learnt in the previous class, now let us recall. First one, discovery of nucleus, then drew the four model and Bose atom model. Discovery and the properties of neutrons, characteristics of fundamental particles, atomic number and mass number, then the electronic configuration of atoms, the last one geometric representation of atomic structure of elements. Now, we come to the new topic in this lesson, valence electrons, what are called valence electrons? The Outermost shell contains a number of electrons and that shell is called as valence shell. So, the electrons present in the valence shell are known as valence electrons. The elements with same number of electrons in the valence shell show their similar properties. Same number of electrons means some of the elements. So, the elements are sodium, potassium. They have the same number of electrons in the valence shell. So, it has the similar properties. And thus, some of the elements with different number of valence electrons show different chemical properties. Lithium, sodium, magnesium, aluminium, they have different valent, valence electrons. So, they have a different chemical properties. Then, elements have valence electrons 1 or 2 or 3 except hydrogen or metals. And the element that is lithium, it has a valency 1. So, it has a uh, valence electron has 1. So, it has a valency 1. Magnesium. Magnesium has atomic number 12, but, so, but it has a valence electron 2. Aluminium. It has an atomic number 13 and it has a valence electron 3. So, these metals, they have the valence electrons are 1, 2 or 3 are called, are called as metals. And some of the elements with 4 to 7 electrons, for example, silicon, phosphorus, sulfur, chlorine, they have the electrons in the outermost shell 4 to 7. In the valence shell are called as non-metals. Now, what is called as valency? Valency of an element is the combining capacity of an element with other elements. And it is equal to the electrons, number of electrons that take part in a chemical reaction. For example, H2O, H, hydrogen 1, oxygen 2. So, you have to combine it, H2O. So, valency of elements having valence electrons 1, 2, 3, 4. So, it has the valency 1, 2, 3, 4. Valency, so how to find the valency? Valency of an element with 5, 6, 7, for example, silicon, phosphorus, a sulfur and also chlorine, it has the valence electron 5, 6, 7. So, how to have find the valency means valency is equal to 8 minus valence electron. So, 8 minus 5, you have the va valency 3. In the same way, 8 minus 6, you have the valency 2. In the same way, 8 minus 7, it has the valency 1. So, chlorine has the valency 1 because 8 minus 7. In this way, you have to find the valency. Now, elements having complete filled outermost shell show the zero valency. For example, noble gases. Noble gases, some of the elements are called as noble gases. Helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, radon. So, these are called as rare gases or inert gases, they have the complete shell, complete outermost shell because, because it contains 8 electrons in the outermost shell. So, here for example, neon, the electronic configuration of neon is 2,8, it is a completely filled outermost shell. So, it has the valency 0 because 8 minus 8, it has the valency 0. So, the valency of neon is equal to 0. Uh, argon, krypton, xenon, in this way you have to find the valency. The valency of all elements in the rare, rare gases, it has a valency 0. Now, 
come to the problem, find the valency of magnesium and sulfur. Magnesium has the atomic number 12. So, how to write the electronic configuration? 2 comma 8 comma 2. So, what about the valence electron is 2? So, it has a valency 2. Now, sulfur. Sulfur has the atomic number 16. The electronic configuration of sulfur is 2 comma 8 comma 6. So, more than 4 electrons in the valence shell means you have to apply the formula 8 minus valence electron. So, 8 minus 6. So, the valence is equal to 2. Here, ma uh, magnesium and also the sulfur, it both of them, it has the valency 2. In this way, you have to find the valency of magnesium and sulfur. Now, arrangement the electron, electrons in atoms of elements having at atomic number 1 to 10. These are some of the elements. The elements with their symbols, for example, beryllium. What is the symbol of beryllium? Be. It has the atomic number 4. It has the number of neutrons 9. So, how to find the uh, neutron A minus Z? So, 9 minus 4 that is equal to 5. So, how to write the electronic configuration from the atomic number? So, beryllium 4 atomic number. So, how to find the electronic configuration? 2 comma 2. First shell 2 electrons and the next shell it contains 2 electrons. So, it has a valency 2 and this beryllium is a metal. For example, you come to carbon. Carbon has the symbol C and it has the atomic number 6 and it has the mass number 12. How to find the number of neutrons? A minus Z 12 minus 6 that is equal to 6. But how to write the electronic configuration from the atomic number? You have to write the electronic configuration 2 comma 4. First shell 2 electrons, the next shell L shell 4 electrons. So, it has a valency 4. Here this carbon is a non-metal. Then come to neon. Neon has the atomic number 10. It has a symbol Ne and this mass number is 20. How to find the number of neutrons? 20 minus 10 that is equal to 10. How to find the electronic configuration from the atomic number? Atomic number is 10. So, how to write the electronic configuration? 2 comma 8. More than 4 electrons in the valence shell means you have to apply the formula 8 minus valence electrons. So, 8 minus 8 that is equal to 0. This is a noble gas. So, these are some of the elements that is given with their symbols, with their atomic number, with their mass number and from this two you have to find the number of neutrons and from the atomic number you have to write the electronic configuration and from this valence electrons you have to find the valency then you have to find it. this is a metal or a non-metal or a noble gases in this way you know about the tabulation. Now, geometric representation of atoms of some elements. The first one, phosphorus P, sulfur S, yes. sodium Na, magnesium Mg. How to draw the diagram? Now, here, phosphorus 15, 31. What is the atomic number? 15. So, how to write the electronic configuration? 2 comma 8 comma 5. So, what is in the nucleus? Protons and neutrons. So, 15. Proton is 15 and the neutron is 16. So, the first shell you have to fill the 2 electrons. The next shell 8 electrons. The outermost shell contains 5 electrons. Now, how to find the valency? More than 4 electrons means you have to apply the formula 8 minus valence electron. So, here 8 minus 5. The, that is equal to 3. So, pass press it has the valency 3. In the same way, sulfur atomic number, sulfur atomic number 16. So, you have to write the electronic configuration 2 comma 8 comma 6. So, you draw the geometric representation. First shell contains 2 electrons, next shell contains 8 electrons and the third shell contains, outermost shell contains 6 electrons. Now, how to find the valency? 8 minus valence electrons, so that is equal to 2. So, the valency of sulfur is equal to 2. Here, 
the sodium, sodium has the atomic number 11. Now, you have to write the electronic configuration 2 comma 8 comma 1. First shell contains 2 electrons, second shell contains 8 electrons and the outermost shell contains only 1 electron. So, it has a valency 1. So, sodium it has a valency 1. Then come to magnesium. Magnesium has the atomic number 12. How to write the electronic configuration 2 comma 8 comma 2. Now, first shell contains 2 electrons, second shell contains 8 electrons, the valence shell contains 2 electrons. So, it has the valency 2. In this way, you draw the geometric representation of this sum of the elements that is phosphorus, sulphur, sodium and magnesium with a valency also. Now, come to the next topic that is isotopes. Now, come to the picture, the first one protium, deuterium and tritium and these are called as isotopes of hydrogen, isotopes of hydrogen. So, uh, come here, what do you mean by isotopes? So, how to define isotopes? Isotopes are atoms of the same element H, H, H and same atomic number 1, 1, 1 but different mass number 1 here, 2 and also 3. So, these are called as isotopes. So, isotopes are defined as the atoms of the same element having same atomic number but different mass number. There are two types of isotopes and some of the isotopes are stable and others are unstable. Here, the isotopes which are unstable that is as a result of extra neutrons in their nuclei and are radioactive. So, they are called as radioactive isotopes. The next one isobars. So, how to define isobars? Isotopes are, isobars are atoms of different element with different atomic number which have same mass number are known as isobars. Come to here organ, organ has the symbol AR, atomic number 18, mass number 40, calcium, calcium has the symbol CA, it has the atomic number 20, here the mass number is 40. Here different element, different atomic number, but same mass number. So, what are isotopes means? Isotopes are atoms of isobars. Isobars are atoms of different element with different atomic number which have the same mass number are known as isobars. The third one isotones. Isotones means atoms of different element with different atomic number and different mass number, but with same number of neutrons are called as isotones. For example, boron and carbon. Boron has the symbol B and carbon has the symbol C. It has the atomic boron has the atomic number 5 and carbon has the atomic number 6. Boron has the mass number 11 and carbon has the mass number 12. So, see here different element, different atomic number, different mass number, but same number of neutrons 11 minus 5, 6, 12 minus 6, 6. So, same number of neutrons are called as isotones. So, boron and calcium um, carbon has the same number of neutrons, but different number of protons and hence they have different atomic numbers. So, the number of protons in boron that is equal to 11 minus 5 that is equal to 6 and the number of proton carbon is equal to number of neutrons in carbon equal to 12 minus 6 that is equal to 6. Number of neutron in 
number of neutron in boron is equal to 11 minus 5 that is equal to 6. Number of neutrons in carbon that is equal to 12 minus 6 that is equal to 6. Here same number of neutrons, same number of neutron all the other thing are different, different element, different atomic number, different mass number but same number of neutrons. So, this is defined as the isotones. Okay, now come to the assignment. The first one, find the valency of phosphorus and chlorine. The second one, define isotopes, isomers and isotones. The third one, draw the structure of oxygen and sulfur atoms. The fourth one, what are called valence electrons and these questions you have to learn and write one time. Okay, thank you students.